There's been another deadly attack in Afghanistan's capital. At least 95 people are dead. This after a car bomb exploded in a crowded street. Let's bring in Natasha Fata. She's covering the story for us today. So how did this all unfold today, Natasha? Michael, the information we're getting is coming directly from the health ministry, which is giving us those numbers that at least 95 people are dead and 158 others are injured. And they anticipate that number will continue to rise as they deal with the carnage that's been left behind as a result of a suicide bombing in Kabul. So what we understand happened is that... Uh, a attacker or a group of attackers used an ambulance to get past a police checkpoint to an area that houses some very important official buildings, including embassies. What they told the police officers is that they had a patient in the ambulance and they were taking that person to hospital. It was at the second police checkpoint that the bomb was detonated. And as you can see, people and their bodies were scattered all over the area. Dozens of buildings and cars were damaged and people ran out from the businesses that they were working in to try and help first responders, try and help some of the injured get to nearby hospitals, but just a very violent and brutal scene taking place. Now, the Taliban has claimed responsibility for this attack, and what local officials are saying is that four people have been arrested, and they are currently being questioned, but beyond that, very few details about what took place in Kabul. Mm -hmm. So we keep tracking that, but, but as we track this story, we have to point out that this is just the latest in what has been a string of deadly attacks in Afghanistan. Uh, walk us through what we have seen in these past weeks. It's, it's been brutal, Michael. Let's go back to just last weekend when we were reporting uh, about the Intercontinental Hotel in Kabul where the Taliban killed at least 22 people, including American nationals. But you're not just talking about the Taliban or the Haqqani network that we're used to discussing in Afghanistan. Now you've got ISIS in the mix. And just on Wednesday, ISIS killed four people when they attacked the Save the Children charity. In December, they carried out a bombing at a Shia center, which led to the death of at least 40 people. And in October of last year, 176 people across Afghanistan were killed as a result of multiple different terror attacks. So you've got ISIS, you've got the Haqqani network, you've got Taliban. And in the meantime, the people of Afghanistan are suffering and having to deal with this violence.